Good morning, my name is Reggie Bray. I'm a Operations Section Chief with Pacific Northwest Team 2, and this is the operational update uh, for the Eagle Cap wildfires for Tuesday, September 6. Uh, we'll start over here at the Nebo uh, fire uh, that's uh, just to the west of uh, Lick Creek and Lick Creek Campground. Uh, <clears throat> crews continue to uh, prep the Cloverdale Road uh, down uh, to uh, the 3925 road um, and looking at options to tie it down into the uh, Imnaha uh, River corridor. Uh, picking up uh, uh, control line as they go north um, up to the 39 road up to Salt Creek Summit. Uh, they're using masticators and uh, crews to prep that road to remove fuel from it uh, and preparation for a burnout. Uh, they've also been scouting to the north. Uh, they've identified a, a ridge uh, that comes off of the 137 spur here off of the 131 road and uh, have completed dozer line to about um, a quarter mile from the wilderness boundary. And they're going to continue to use masticators and improve that line uh, today and then uh, start a hand crew uh, working, continuing down that ridge in the wilderness uh, up to um, just uh, north of uh, the upper end of the North Fork of Big Sheep Creek. Uh, the reason we're looking at that is to, ke to keep the fire, as if it progresses north, protect the values here to the north and also over here to the east. Uh, we want to keep the fire inside the wilderness or contained to the uh, west side of the 39 road. Uh, <clears throat> we're also monitoring the fire inside the wilderness. Uh, yesterday, uh, fire hasn't moved very much, uh, but there continues to be heat uh, down here on the uh, southern end of the fire, uh, just north of the Imnaha River. And what we're doing is, uh, if, if need be, we'll use uh, aviation resources uh, to, to monitor as well as uh, do some suppressing actions there in the wilderness if the fire starts to move around. Right now it's coming up in the uh, uh, upper end uh, up toward the Bonnie Lakes uh, up in the rocks and we want to want to limit the spread to the west as well to so it doesn't become established in uh, the McCubby Basin. We'll move over to the Sturgill incident. Um, so we'll start up here on the north end with the, the goats. Uh, those fires can uh, continue to really not move much uh, in the last uh, three or four days. Um, prior to the wind event, uh, they're still a similar size. Um, still a little bit of heat in there, but uh, we do have uh, lookouts posted there. We're gonna pull those resources out of there today. Um, they've also been keeping eyes on stuff the two spots that came off the Sturgill fire uh, and that are in the lower uh, Goat Creek. Um, took a look at those yesterday. We uh, used uh, helicopters to um, just check up some of the, the heat and limit the spread of some of these fires, of the two spots, and um, that looked like that was pretty successful uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, we'll continue to monitor that by uh, air uh, today. Uh, moving around to <clears throat> the main Sturgill fire. Uh, yesterday there was uh, quite a bit of heat uh, on the southeast corner of the fire down here close to the Minam River. Uh, when uh, looking at uh, our infrared uh, technology uh, and then flying it also down in the corridor, uh, nothing appeared to be across the uh, to the west side of the river. There is a, a slop across the river, but crews were able to work it. They've been working it for several days, um, and uh, that's looking really good. So our intent is to keep the Sturgill fire to the east of the Minam River. Moving down the drainage, as we get close to the Minam Lodge Resort, uh, Red's Horse Ranch, uh, structure protection is just finishing up in there. They're completing that, to most of that today, uh, down to, uh, uh, to the north to some of the cabins and down on the south end the Hawkins cabin should be finished as well. Uh, we're getting a few more supplies in there and uh, they'll be finished up with that today. The Stanley Guard Station uh, where we have the jumpers at, 
They are uh, continuing structure protection around it. And they're also looking at uh, uh, starting some of the hand line that's going to come down, uh, down the trail uh, and uh, follow the trail and then come down a ridge. And that is the intent is to, when we have the right conditions, we'll look at a, prepare a burnout uh, to secure this, this northwestern edge of the Sturgill fire. Uh, we continue to monitor the fire on the, the uh, north and east side. Uh, it's burned up into uh, some of the higher country. Uh, it's a lot of rock, uh, not a lot of fuel, but uh, there still is a lot of heat in there. In some places it's starting to back down on the other side in toward um, Bear Creek. And we'll just continue to monitor that and uh, use Aviation yesterday, we checked this line up with uh, some helicopters and uh, just to, to limit the spread to give us time to get things into place here as well as uh, keep it from pushing into Bear Creek drainage and, and moving uh, to the north. That's the end of the operational update for the Eagle Cap Wilderness Fires.